Ugh. I am rolling. I'm rolling. All right, you're in the shot. And <laughs> no, uh, in the shot? Like, that's that amazingly creative. Is that in the shot? Jake, yeah, it's in the shot. Like, wait, we have to wait for Jacob to hold the mic. Yeah. All right. Jacob, you got the boom mic? Now, I just want you to take a second, Rahil, and realize how much power I have in this. Okay? Because <laughs> we'll fucking start when I want to start. This sounds right? fine this way. Yeah. So, Actually, I want everybody to take a boom. fucking second and realize just how important can we, and how can much we power I have. In the shot the, like literally, it? you are waiting for the boom mic. And now, yeah, I'm ready. I think we need you there. If you could come and step right here. <laughs> Right now hey, seriously, like Jake, I don't have time and patience for your bullshit this morning. Kay. Just, Kay. just go back. Kay. Wait, go, go back. You want to get? You want good sound? Oh. You fucking amateurs. Let's come. Let me go through here. There's many ways to hold it. It's the classic. This is called the Milson. It's um, well, developed. Okay, let's eat. From, um, Take a break. Not in Hilson back in uh, 1920 when uh, it actually started from a janitor actually. Oh God. When um. Some guy took, took a brim, right? He was like, somebody was like, what are you doing with that? Bring that brim over here. I fixed a mic to it. Boom. And that's how the boom was born. I remember on a uh, set with, uh, I think it was Francis for Pope Boy. 1980. Nicholas Cage comes in. I'm doing boom. Sitting there. Uh, Copa's like, if I get you over here, boom, hits his uh, mouth. No fucking joke. Copa fucking flips. Who is this guy, fucking amateur? Almost kicked off set. Had to go in and uh, pull some OT. Prove that I could uh, do the job. So anyway, that was the first time I, I ran the boom. A lot of people say, all right, you're a boom operator, so you just stand around all day, right? I'm like, no, mate. Bicep. Tricep. Self-explanatory, yeah? Self-explanatory. <laughs> Before you can handle a boom, first you must train with it. You have to let it be an extension mm -hmm. of your body. Balance is a key. A lot of people think uh, there really isn't much to this. Yeah. Can you can you carry your broom? Well, then you can do boom. No, that's the joke. The fact of the matter is you got to be in situations where you're under intense heat and if you fuck up, there's no sound. Did you think about that? Show on that a bit. There was the phone. A fucking amateur. Yes, we got it. Did you, uh, did you put away your fucking phone, you you fucking okay, amateur. You, uh, okay, I need you to direct this. You are a fucking you amateur, mate. Okay, you are a yeah, fucking yeah, amateur. Alright, alright, alright. I'm, I'm, I'm on the same. No, honestly, professionally, we okay. are fucking through. Good sound. Okay, okay, good, good. We are good. fucking good. amateur. Okay. No, and honestly, uh, there's two types of people in this world. There's amateurs and there's professionals. I fall in the, the later camp, um, and it's hard, to be honest, to to work with amateurs, people that don't take their job seriously. They're they're they're, they're goofing around all the time, fucking around, trying to be uh, to be funny. Okay, uh, I talked to uh, Ben Affleck once. He was on set, and I'm like, Ben, there's there's two ways we can shoot this scene. Um, you can try to be funny and make jokes and yeah, yeah, that'll make you popular with the other people on the, on the cast. Or the other way you can do is, is, is actually film it for real and, uh, and get a film made. Uh, that film was called Argo and it won an Oscar. So, you know, I, I've been in this business for a while. I've worked, for, I mean, I, well, I wouldn't name drop, but I worked with Spielberg. Um, John Hughes on Breakfast Club, George Lucas, Christopher Coppola, but I will stop it there. Uh, shot B-ball with, with uh, George Clooney as well, but in this industry, 
you work with uh, with a wide variety of, of characters. That's just the nature of the business. I've often wondered, um, do assholes become directors, or does directing make them an asshole? And uh, that's something I really haven't found an answer to yet. It's uh, it's kind of a, a, a struggle. At the end of the day, I mean, th this is all you got right here. It's my best friend. Lover and uh, confidant. I feel like I can tell it. I mean, it's a mic, yeah, but you know, if you really want to look at it, it's kind of philosophical. It's always listening to me. And uh, I think at the end of the day, this is what this is what counts. That's all you got. People call it a, a boom mic. I call it my friend. <laughs>